The following is a transcript of a conversation between Matthias de Stefano, referred to as me, and his higher self, referred to as I am. 31st March 2021, Dream. Me. After 15 days of being with visits from friends, family, and many people from the network, I think that the euphoria, the joy, the morning routine, the talks and laughter, the tasks, the trip on the Nile, the visits, and all the processes lived could be summarized in the concept of dream, or being very sleepy. We slept so little and did so many things that my body today can only think about sleeping. I am. It's normal because sleeping a few hours is not good for the subject. Me. I can tell. I know that sleep is fundamental, but in extreme moments of sleeping only three hours a day, it can be noticed. I am. As I once explained to you, sleep is the time when cells regenerate. During the day, cells expand energy to function, multiplying, using all their reserves. They need food to take the necessary energy to allow them to continue functioning. And when night comes, the body begins to exhaust and turns off all circuits to rest. But the body does not go to sleep, but continues to work, multiplying cells, repairing tissues. Me. So who sleeps? I am. The will. The parts of the brain that control survival, action, staying alert with the senses, in constant action, stop receiving signals, so that the body can perform its task without spending energy on activity. The body continues to work, and the mind is quiet, so as not to deconcentrate on what it must do. But its need for action is so much that it uses parts of the brain to create action, solve problems, live a parallel life in order not to feel worthless. Me. That is, dreaming. I am. That's right. Dreams are an electrical reaction of the brain, which awakens dormant and recent memories, downloading data in the repair of neural connections during the time of sleep. Me. So they're like short circuits of the brain. That's it? I am. Rather, they are electric shocks, sparks, that occur when repairing cells. Me. What ability you have to destroy the magic of things. I am. Thank you. Me. It wasn't a compliment. I am. I know. Me. How would you define dreaming, then? For humans who like to be sleepy or who think are connections with the afterlife or other dimensions. I am. Before defining the word sleep, you have to understand the word dream. It comes from the Indo-European drem, origin of the word dream in English. And the word sueño, dream in Spanish, comes from the Indo-European swep, origin of the word sleep in English. Me. So, in Spanish, dream is sleep, and in English, it's the other way around. That is, like a cross of words and meanings. I am. That's how the story of words and senses works. Both talk about the process of closing your eyes. However, sleep refers to biological action, while dream refers to the illusory reaction that occurs in the brain while sleeping. Due to the crossing of meanings between the Indo-European peoples who traveled to Northern Europe and those who traveled to the South, the concept of sleeping and dreaming intermingled, exchanging their senses, being almost synonymous in some cases. The word drem became like a way of describing a small death, an entrance into the world of illusion, in which, when closing the eyes, mirages were seen, deceptions of the mind. For some cultures, dreams were messages. For others, it was confusion. In the Nordic peoples, drem gave rise to draum, which generated the concept of illusion, used in real life as a synonym for cheating in combat. For the Saxons, dream, drom, became a source of imagination where everything was possible, a center of creativity, which made the verb synonymous with joy, music, sound. The inner beauty that the brain provided to human inspiration made illusion a creative quality that changed the world. Me. Why did it change? I am. Because all the data recorded by the eyes and stored by the brain during the day were processed during the night, joining data apparently disconnected from each other, which formed an idea. It was remembered the next day as a reality, since, even though the cells had not lived it, the brain was convinced that what was experienced was real, and thus, new ideas were created, bringing the world of dreams to the physical world. This allowed us to have inventiveness through imagination, solve problems, find solutions, discover art, awaken spirituality, be more empathetic, intuitive. 
Well, by connecting abstract concepts with concrete data and putting together an idea from random themes, the brain allowed the human to find ways to expand, to grow as a species. Me. So dreaming made us what we are today. I am. The dream is the key to transcendence, to look beyond. Whoever dares to dream, who opens up to living his dreams, is a link on the evolutionary ladder. Me. Biologically, sleep, then, developed as a way to sort data in the brain while the cells are replenished, and this natural reaction generated one of the greatest changes in the consciousness of a living being, creating humans as an intelligent species. I am. The dream is the key to intelligence, because intelligence means reading between the lines. And who understands their dreams, and above all, who shapes, manifests their dreams, demonstrates their intelligence. Intelligence has been mistakenly considered synonymous with accumulation of knowledge, ability to record data and information, but that's not intelligence. It is demonstrated in the ability to interconnect data, to understand the reality that one lives from the physical, the emotional, the mental, the artistic, the logical, the social, the spiritual, and in several other areas. Intelligence is the adaptability to understanding the interconnectedness of all things, which makes clear the ability of the brain to interact in data. From the dream, memory develops, and with it, imagination, transferring the illusory to reality. Me. Illusion. The dream is an illusory mirage that gives us tools to develop the material. How is this understood? I am. Have you forgotten all the previous months? Everything is an illusion. Nothing really exists. Matter is a conjunction of magnetic and electrical pulses produced by the interaction of waves that act like particles by intertwining in the constants of time and space. The gap between each atomic particle and each quantum particle is as large as the space between the stars. There's nothing really there, just networks of vibrating waves. And the interaction of them creates the idea, the mind, the thought, which is self-referential, recognizing itself and shaping this illusory interaction. This is how, after billions of years, a mind capable of understanding the external world, looking into its eyes and interpreting these interactions, which it will call matter, is constituted. The dream is the only moment in which we can access that network that allows you to see reality, and when the senses are numb, it makes the illusion precisely a playful, intelligent, creative terrain. Me. I understand. Everything is an illusion. Therefore, dreams connect us with that glimpse of truth. I am. Therefore, dreams allow you to connect through dimensions with all the data that networks manage. For this reason, you consider dreams as a vehicle of spiritual communication. Me. I always said that dreams are like downloading information from more expanded interdimensional planes interpreted from the biological point of view. As if, in sleep, the spirit leaves the body into the fifth dimension, while the soul expands into the fourth dimension, and when it returns, the spirit passes the pure information to the soul that translates it into emotional terms of time and space to then be interpreted all by the data available in the brain of the person who sleeps, as a broken phone-style channeling. I am. It's one way of looking at it, yes. The brain does not possess the pure data of the spiritual world in the cosmic networks. It only has the data accumulated by experience, recorded in the cells. Therefore, when pure consciousness transmits a message to us, the brain tries to interpret it with what it finds at its disposal, and that is how you dream strange things. Me. Dreaming is a form of communication between the three bodies, mental, emotional, and physical, then. No? I am. It's a way of knowing what's going on between the subconscious, unconscious, and conscious. The dream is an interpreter of an individual's inner world. Me. What if we don't dream? I am. 
everyone dreams. Another thing is that you do not remember. In the same way that when you die, it is like a dream, and when you are born awake, you must not remember their dreams and let go of the past. Those who remember their dreams, as you did, can tell what they experienced, remember the day before, or every day, and every time they wake up, they will have a new story to tell. Me. How do I remember? I am. Waking up in the central phase of sleep. To do this, you must drink water before going to sleep, so you will wake up halfway through sleep and it will be in full activity. Me. I've heard about lucid dreaming. What is that? I am. It is a conscious meditation in which by putting a concrete intention, dozing in meditation without falling asleep at all, you can project your mind wherever you want. The first stage is when dreaming recognizes that it is a dream. The next step is to try to be free in the dream and do everything you can think of knowing that you are in a dream. The third step would be to program sleep before going to sleep through intention and visualization. The fourth step would be to know that you are awake and at the same time you can manage your sleep. The fifth step would be to project your dreamy mind to reality as a kind of etheric teleportation to places that are not dreams but real places here and now. And the sixth stage would be to be able to manipulate reality from this state as if it were a dream, such as appearing, grabbing things, talking to someone. Me. Is that possible? I am. Everything is an illusion, a dream, imagination of the universal mind. Of course it is possible. But existing in this dimension, there are steps to realize it. Everything manifested is only an eternal dream. Me. This is why we have translated the idea of having a dream as a projection of desire, of the will to carry out something in real life that today is nothing more than an illusion. I am. Daydreaming, having a dream of life, is a mental projection born from the brain's ability to seek solutions to personal conflicts, which seek to manifest themselves in reality. It is the same origin. Life is a dream. We have already said that. It is a product of the imagination born of the first universal law, mentalism. Every dimension of reality, every perceived emotion, are illusions, mirages of the mind. Your life is the synapse of the cosmic brain, and your actions are dreams of the universal spirit. Me. We are the dream of God, of the universe. I am. And in your dreams, you create a new one every time you go to sleep. Just remember that you need to dream freely. Be aware of your dreams to make them possible. The external is an illusion, because when you open your eyes, you see nothing but a mirage of waves and particles. When you sleep and close your eyes inward, you only see a world of imaginary mirages of the mind. If nothing is real, everything is a dream. Therefore, you must learn to live in it from within and from without. Me. How do I do it? I am. Learn to daydream. The greatest of the attributes of Pisces, the ability to live life as a magical dream of imagination, being aware that nothing is really real, that ideas, imagination, magic, intuition, and dreams are the brushes of the cosmic artist, the colors in the painter's palette, the chords in a musician's song, the blueprints in an architect's design, the tools in a sculptor's workshop, the words and pen of a poet, the free ideas of a philosopher, the inspiration of a dreamer. Me. I look at the world as the collective dream in which humanity sleeps, The nightmare we create in unconsciousness, in the desperate search to escape from a place without doors or windows. And there, in the midst of this reverie, I recognize myself as the dreamer. And in my will, in my love, I expand my capacity to imagine, to redesign the dream and turn it into a beautiful memory at the moment of awakening. I am. I have faith that you can do it. I believe in you. I believe in us. Me. I am the eternal manifestation, divine dream manifested. 
I am the dream and the dreamer. I am. Observe in the world the dream you live and close your eyes to dream the world you want to live in. Expand the dream into your life and make nothing a whole. Dream a reality. Me. We live a dream. I am. And therefore, it is time to learn to dream.